welcome back welcome 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 if you're new i am soul foolish girl i am a super high vibe spirit having the greatest human experience with you right here right now this is the realest reading of your life this is a timeless collective reading so whenever you're seeing this just remember to breathe with me take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else let's get into this timeless collective reading i miss you guys so much when you say no with love you create a paradigm shift of spiritual and material wealth okay wow that's deep channeled message okay um i think i'm gonna call this my spiritual facts deck okay because um these messages tend to hit hard in my personal readings and so yeah I'm, i decided to use this online here guys let me know if these messages are resonating with you um it's time for you to say no to someone it's time for you to um close a chapter on being a scapegoat for people in your life is what i'm hearing and also saying no with love i could go so deep but i, I just i'm feeling guided to pull some more we are gonna come back to this okay it's time for you to say no okay i'm definitely hearing that access is denied um this this technically isn't supposed to be in here but for some of you you could be a manager um, in a management position, seeking a management position, seeking some sort of authoritarian position, or you could be dealing with someone who's been mismanaging um, because it was in reverse. Um, mismanaging something. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on hold. All right, we're gonna leave that on the side just for a second. Let's get another message. Wow, you can't make this up. You have the right to establish boundaries. Stop playing with me. All right, this is definitely being filmed during the Lionsgate portal. Um, so, you know, happy galactic uh, holiday, okay? To, to you guys, this energy moving forward and beyond, okay? Whenever you're seeing this, this is timeless. However, um, just know that um, Come, the coming months october you know september you know access people cannot go with you everyone can't go where you're going um they just can't okay so you you have to set up these boundaries there sometimes your blessings get blocked because all right i'm done now i really did think that this was going to be a love reading but somehow it has turned into a straight up watch your back type reading okay <laughs> listen this is cut off season straight up all right so um you do not have to tell your close friends and family everything someone and whenever these are written and read these are pure channel pure and raw uh, spiritual facts okay um whenever you're experiencing this um bad things happening after you tell someone something it's because you're speaking too soon telling the wrong person um your business oh this deck is so heavy i'm definitely gonna put that over here on the side because all right let's just see um what do you need to know right now what what's 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 going on around you wow welcome back collective yes oh you know this this card really loves <laughs> loves to flip out okay a lot of you are dealing with some sort of competition this could be physical this could be um even within yourself for some of you okay but we're not gonna take that just yet because I'm feeling guided to use this other deck for some sort of advice, okay? Um, because I really wanna get into this. Um, some of you could be getting engaged or something could have happened around some sort of engagement, okay? Um, 
someone you're looking for someone that you can trust here with this uh, partner in crime you're definitely looking for someone you can trust um, this could be same sex doesn't have to be okay um, whoever this resonates for so let's just see what advice do they have for you right now because this energy is so intense i just want to get straight to the core and then we'll pull some tarot so what is this advice about self-love yes it's definitely time for you to love on yourself put yourself first um and say no with love this is an empowerment reading this is a reading that's definitely going to change your life and really help you to set up some solid strong spiritual boundaries i just saw 707 okay um that could be significant for someone right let's see self-abundant yes um, I'm also hearing that for some of you, if you're masculine watching this, like you're attracted to, to women, or you could be attracting women who are self-reliant, self-abundant. And that's something that you seek in a partner and you're going to receive that because you love yourself and you don't have to settle for someone who, who wants to be with you for some sort of material gain. Okay. And this goes for the, the divine feminine as well. It's all about this reading is about your self-love and being self upon it and also speaking your mind um it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine speaking your mind and sometimes speaking your mind and having self-love is letting someone know how you need and want to be loved in a relationship you know so i see you guys um that's like a word of encouragement you guys are encouraged to just keep doing that keep going in that direction and there's some uh, for a lot of you this is someone new that's coming in for love um and for some of you, that romance that you're missing in your connection is definitely coming towards you. Your partner is finding you more attractive. Some of you be get, could be getting a makeover or having some sort of date night, getting your hair, makeup done, doing something special. Someone wants to do something special for you. And someone thinks you're a great kisser. Okay, so let's move on and see... Let's grab some tarot. Ooh, okay. It's judgment call. Some of you definitely de dealing with a Libra Scorpio. Um, it's definitely judgment call on a situation. It's time to make some sort of decision um, and putting to rest things that are not serving you moving forward with this self-love that's what i'm picking up really strongly a lot of you are turning your back on things that honestly no longer served you in your relationships or like you have a strong and solid ass um blacklist okay cutting people off turning your back on them and choosing yourself first is coming through really strong Mm, for my dear collective watching this reading i love that also some of you are just trusting the process some of you are new to the law of attraction the law of assumption and you're following the process right um please don't give up on love if if you feel like love is not out there if you feel like you're having a difficult time finding love i'm hearing that there is love coming towards you um if some of you are messing around with someone like that you were dating with and the past and flip-flopping and stuff like that it's like you really have to choose and decide when you're trying to manifest who you want to be with in some cases it's okay to have two people you're talking to as long as you keep your moral values this is a spiritual um state that we're in this is the aquarius season that we're in a lot of truths are coming out just always be honest right and also um if you haven't been loving yourself if you haven't been pouring into yourself if you haven't been putting yourself first that's why you're feeling tired for some of you or you could be feeling down like you need a change in your life for others of you i feel like you are so tired of being tired of caring about love and that's when love's gonna find you okay um definitely i'm getting some new love coming in all right and releasing the fear 
Okay, releasing the fear of some, the perfect person. Yeah, I'm hearing that someone's like, is there so is there such thing as a specific person, a perfect? Yes, it is. They are who you make them, right? A lot of you are bored right now with what you're seeing. You're just like, is this really it? <laughs> um, it is if you say it is. This is it if you say it is, right? I'm hearing, you know, it's time for you to really remain optimistic. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy is coming through right now, okay? Remain optimistic. Um, Aries, really strong. Leo, Sagittarius coming through as well. All right, so who's coming towards you and and what, what do they want at this time? Oh my goodness, this is somebody... All right, I want to say hot and fun. Somebody hot and fun, all right? That, that that Pharrell song is playing in my head. Hot and fun, right? So someone hot and fun is coming in. Um, look at me, look at you. This person's really into the way that you look. This person's all about appearances. This could be someone who travels a lot. This is, could be someone who's popular, someone who speaks multiple languages. Um, for some of you, this is someone who's younger than you or you youthful. This is cute. All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> I don't feel like you're you're really paying this per person any attention. This is gonna come unexpectedly. This is gonna come unexpectedly for some of you. For some of you, I feel like it's an on again, off again, but it's with someone that you want. So this is not the on again, off again person that you don't want. All right. So now, if it is, it is. Let me know. But I'm I'm getting that you know this person is coming towards you because. You'd be like, looking the other way. You'd be like, whatever. And they'd be like, yo, I'm on my way. And you'd be like, whatever. <laughs> oh, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be Gemini, could be any sign. Um, let's see. Could be Cancer that you're dealing with. This is definitely someone who is strategic and disciplined. I feel like the person who's coming towards you, it could be, I mean, it could be. It could be the love of your life. If you're already in a relationship, I, I see this as some sort of romantic renewal, um, a union. This person is going to keep their word. Someone's gonna, someone who's coming in is going to keep their word. Could be a fixed sign energy because this chariot is giving me um, cancer. All right. So, but could be any fixed sign. Um, so, yeah. Oh, you really got to pay attention. This this person pays attention to detail, whoever this is. Also, I feel like there's kids playing outside and that normally that hardly ever happens. Um, so this person could have children. This this person could be coming in with a little baggage, but it's organized. Like their life is going to be put together. The person who's coming in, it's going to be someone that you have so much in common with, you know? You can talk to this person for hours. Um... This person could have awkward communication at times, um, but nonetheless, you do feel, because I'm noticing this Fibonacci spiral here twice, here in this chariot and here in this two of cups, okay? So you definitely have some sort of spiritual contract with this person. They're coming in to fulfill their spiritual contract with you. Um, sidebar, if this is not love and you know you stuck out for, for as long as you have this reading, this is a divine connection with you and your higher self okay um you've been through it all they know and they've chosen you for some sort of spiritual mission okay um yes and it's like it's like because because you don't want it because you weren't seeking it you weren't you weren't seeking love and so love is gonna find you here with this queen of cups okay some of you could have blonde hair some of you could be brunette some of you could have curly hair um let's see Let's just, let's see. Yeah, let's get you some advice. I'm, I'm really feeling guided to. Give you some advice. Um, your advice is really to keep your projects 
to yourself keep your information to yourself um, try not to let everyone know so much about your spiritual connection okay um, we do have the ten of pentacles here um, stay away from I hate to say this people that are always complaining people that are stuck in some sort of sadness or sad cycle someone who's like crying over spilled milk for some of you this is your spouse for some of the for some of you this could be your children for some of you this could even be your parents um i'm hearing that you know you really got to set some solid boundaries that was in the beginning of this reading because i feel like you're trying to manifest something great and it is your destiny i feel like it is your calling to be great here with the ten of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy is coming through um it is your destiny to be great um could be any sign okay um and in to to have healthy, loving relationships. Some of you could definitely love dogs, specifically, okay? Um, some of you have cats, but some of you are dog lovers watching this. Um, oh my goodness. Keep turning your back on lower entities, lower frequencies. Keep avoiding the devil, basically, right? Um, this is Capricorn energy. If you're a Capricorn watching this, um, you're being called to continue to um, forgive yourself or to forgive others, right? To have more compassion, right? Um, doesn't have to be Capricorn. So, yeah, let's just see if we can get um, some advice from our pocket angels just for you to take away to close out. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so that you don't miss a reading. It really helps me when you do that. Thank you so much. So let's see. Some advice from my collective. In a few months, um, in a few months, everything's gonna be all right. I'm hearing um, Barb Marley, Three Little Birds. Okay, definitely listen to that song, Barb Marley, Three Little, Three Little Birds. In a few months, some of you are worried about um, the winter season. You're worried about, but start celebrating now is what I'm hearing. Start celebrating now. Now is the time to start celebrating wherever you are right now. Just be grateful for the here and now, right? And very soon, look at that. So some of you are waiting for something, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for a message, waiting for a call, waiting for some sort of intuitive hint. I'm not sure. I have to play with this angle. Um, but this is giving me... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, anxious energy. Just chill, relax. <sighs> Trust and allow. Trust and allow. Just tell yourself, um, I always get what I want or even better. I always get what I want, exactly what I want or even better, right? Write that down in the comments and make it real, okay? Um... Something better is on the way. Speaking of better, something better is on the way. And they just want you to know that, like, like everything's going to be fine. Something better is on the way. And I'm getting the vibe that um, this could be an unexpected um, or sudden wealth that's coming in really fast because the chariot is fast-moving energy. And I'm hearing that it's coming in because you have been a good and faithful I don't know why I'm hearing good and faithful servant that is a deep okay maybe some of you are very um, uh, religious or spiritual in some sort of way obviously if you're watching these readings but I'm hearing that um, something's better on the way because you you put so much you put so much effort and time and energy into something and so um, you let something go you know you said no with love the, I love how the ending always ties in 
um, the start of the reading. The message is really so solid. You know, it's, it's time for you to um, assert those solid boundaries, right? And walk through um, this, this energy with your head held high, knowing that you made the right decision. Some of you, you had to say no, and they're wanting you to know that you made the right decision when you said no. You made the right decision when you decided to put yourself first. It's okay. And yeah, if you're worried about love, don't worry. That new love is coming in. Focus on your health. Your health is so important here. So, you know, your spiritual, mental, um, your spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical health. They're all so important, right? Um, so, snails could be significant, okay? Um, humidity could be significant. Some of you could definitely be seeing orbs. You're not tripping. They are there. You're definitely protected. Don't worry about things taking too long. You know, just stay focused. I'm really feeling guided to leave it here, guys. Um, positive thinking as I split the deck can change the outcome. So we know that that's law of attraction, law of assumption 101. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for being here. Have the greatest, most fantastic day, evening or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you guys soon in your next reading. Until next time. Peace and love.